Today I am shooting an eclectic bedroom. Here is our style out. Our camera angle is about right here. We're shooting a 5D Mark IV with a tilt shift, a 45 millimeter tilt shift on it. The reason I'm doing a tilt shift is because I want the um, camera to be about here and then I'm scooting the lens back a little bit so I can get some of the side of this window here but then I'll have the main focus of the room scooted over to the camera right. I'm shooting on the same set as the Grand Millennial set. This one still has the scrim on it. We've just left it up. We have some sheer curtains coming through. You can see what our modeling lights are doing uh, just right over here with some of the texture on the wall. Let me walk you through what's going on. So again, I have this light would be, I would say more or less the key light it's shining through this scrim because I want to soften out the edge, if you can see right here. That gave it a little bit of a harder edge on our back wall. I want to soften that out a little bit. This second light here is our fill light slash somewhat of a main light. Um, and the reason for that or how that's working is um, I have this pointed in such a way where some of the light will bleed through. Some of the actual hard light will bleed through here and shine on the back wall and that's what's causing uh, some of that texture you can see um, but most of it's shining onto here on this v-flat and bouncing back in here and then a little bit of it is shining onto this v-flat and bouncing back through kind of this side of the window there's this kind of wall here that's blocking off a little bit more light uh, than i'd like but that's what we have to work with so i do like pro photo lights but i wish there were and I know you can get the cap that'll uh, make it a hemispherical, but I wish the bulb was protruding because if the bulb were protruding here, we could actually have a lot of the light bouncing off of here, wrapping around, bouncing off of here, and wrapping even further to this side of the V-flat and bouncing off of here and going through this window. But as it stands, Pro Photos just have the flat, um, flat face light head. I have a third light here. It's another Profoto D2. It's all I'm using on these sets. Pretty much all the studio has. Um, and this has an orange gel. I think it's a CTO. I think it's an eighth uh, gel. I'm not 100% sure. But what I have is it's just going, it's got a little bit of uh, orange glow to it, you know, bringing a little bit of tungsten light coming through these doors here. And right now I have this up high, pointed down, trying to mimic a ceiling light. Just kind of pointed down, give me a little bit of a gradient on this back wall that you can see through the doors from the camera angle. Just kind of gradienting out through here. And then I have another V-flat, just kind of bring some of that light back into the door to light it up a little bit better. So we have these two pendants here. They have constant light bulbs in here. They're pretty dim at the moment because I'm shooting at uh, 1 60th of a second, ISO 500 and F 7.1. Uh, so I might have to just slow down the shutter speed to capture some of the light coming off of here But hopefully not capture some of the window lights because we have some windows coming in back through here So we'll play around with that a little bit So we did end up putting brighter bulbs in the pendants. So they ended up showing better in the final edit So this is the final if you guys have any questions leave in the comments filled I'll do my best to answer them and thanks everyone for watching